The patient arrived here in South Florida with his finger in a Ziploc bag. The insurance company wanted the finger amputated, but a South Florida doctor decided instead to try a rare procedure. Uh, this one right here. Index finger. That's what it looks like now, but this is what 33 year old Paul Halpern's finger looked like weeks ago after an accident in Palm Beach County. His prized hungry horse confused it for a cookie. And after the treat, it made a mistake. It was a difficult horse, one that's had history, and we were, you know, using our training methods. A mistake that cost him a third of his index finger. Hey, one of the guys that worked with me reached his hand in the horse's mouth and took the fingertip out, and you know, I jumped in the car, you know, I grabbed the rest of my finger, wondering what she, we should do. On the way to the hospital, Paul put his fingertip on a popsicle, but it wasn't enough to save the extremity. Then he heard about a Deerfield Beach doctor that might have a fix. So he'd really want to have his finger uh, heal uh, fast. Advanced, cutting edge, and without any surgery or amputation, General Surgeon Eugenio Rodriguez said he could make the finger grow back. Well, this is something that uh, you actually, there's no experience into this. Using the bladder tissue of a pig, Dr. Rodriguez made a template of Paul's finger and attached it to what was left. This is the result. The finger cells, bone, soft tissue, even nail grew into the mold. Uh, it's very interesting to see a patient to heal. That's, you know, my passion uh, in wound healing. And um, it is uh, it's fascinating to have a new result. It's a procedure both agree could pave the road for other more complex injuries. You know, I'm really grateful. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I think in future there's going to be even better uses for it. Um, it wasn't a life-threatening injury to me. It was something, it was an accident. The doctor says it'll be 9 to 12 weeks until he has a complete recovery. Reporting in Deerfield Beach tonight, Jamie Garola, CBS 4 News.